All right, running back, Sore. This is a top five of how we see these players. If somebody said who are the top five best players at their position right now, go ahead and start us out. Ooh, he already starting out with the shits. So, yeah, I mean, number five, despite the fact that he was injured, you got to put Nick Chubb in your top five. Did I? Mainly everything out of respect here. You know, even if he, oh. even after this injury, I can still expect this dude to put up 1,200 rushing yards. I mean, in his, he played two games. In his first game, he already eclipsed over 100 rushing yards. Uh, very physical guy. I know most people say Derrick Henry is probably the most physical running back up there. And while that's true, you could definitely argue Nick Chubb as well. Uh, definitely don't want to meet him in open space. Uh, also, just very useful in a passing game. So, you know, you got you got to kind of put Nick Chubb here out of respect for everything he's done. Yes, he was injured, but I still expect this dude to have a, an over a thousand yard rushing season if he plays next year. I'll be right back. <laughs> Good. All right. Uh, number four, I'm going to put Saquon Barkley. Barkley's kind of in a unique situation. It's, you know, he's had a couple of coaching changes. He himself has had a couple of injuries, has always had a bad O-line, and even in this previous year has went through three different quarterback changes. Mm-hmm. But even with the build to bear O line, I mean, again, you had what was his, what was it? John John Runyon? No, not John Runyon. Who was it? That was like, I think it was John Runyon. John Runyon, just off the couch or whatever his introduction was. I mean, the, that was literally the O line there. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's the Nick Chubb jersey. <laughs> John Runyon, that was the O line. And it, even with all playing. of that, Saquon Barkley still had over 1,200 scrimmage yards. We've seen what he can do when he's healthy and when he has like an actual decent team around him. Um, and now he's going to Philly, you know, we're hopefully going to be able to see that. And just this year alone, 960 rushing yards, 719 yards of those were after contact. Um, so yeah, hopefully with the brand new team, brand new old line, you're going to see, you know, what, what we saw in 2022, where he had like 1200 rushing yards, what we saw in his rookie season. Um, and also just as a jab, this is nothing against Christian McCaffrey. Obviously I have him at number one for all the people that are like, ah, He's injury prone. He being Barkley, Saquon Barkley has played 43 games the past three years. That's 10 more than CMC has played. Just yeah. saying. Anyways, number three, Kyron Williams. I know. Ooh, it's he, was close. he was close. I know. I, I, I love it. I but love it. I, that, I the dude went nutty Keep last year. Keep in mind, it started off as the Cam Akers show. And it Dante, did. They already, that's, that's Dante's favorite player right there, Cam Akers. <laughs> love <Cam> <laughs> P- and yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's almost like at this point in time, Florida State fans will say, you're, you're not a real Florida State fan. I remember when times used to be good with Dalvin Cook. So please <laughs> spare me. <laughs> spare me. Anyway, so it started off. It started off with the Rams running back room be being Cam Akers, you know? Yeah. Um, And then the second year pro Kyron Williams in 12 games. Nine of those games had 100 plus scrimmage uh, scrimmage yards. He ended up with 1,144 rushing yards, five yards per carry, second in the league, of, or sorry, third in the league of most rushing touchdowns, and then 200 yards of receiving, and then three touchdowns. And now we're adding Blake Corum as well to the mix. You we got rid of bum ass Cam Akers, and it's now going to be Kyron Williams and Blake Corum. Oh, that's going to be a Especially with the young, with the younger, uh, younger guys like Blake Corum, Kyron Williams. Now you're adding Puka Nakua as well for the wide receiver. The Rams are going to run through this young offense, and it's going to start with Kyron Williams. Kyron mm-hmm. Williams. If they if they nail Matthew Stafford's replacement too, and like yeah, years, uh, number two. I mean, you think I, Matthew you know. Stafford's done? He ain't done, bro. He's one of the best ball spinners in the league. That's why I said in a few years, give it time. I did you not know, say it. Derek Henry, man, this. It's weird that his down seasons are great seasons for majority of the rest of the running backs. <laughs> like this year, like he almost had 1,200 rushing yards, and that was a, that's just a down season for him. And now we're putting him on the Ravens with Lamar Jackson, Mark Andrews. It's gonna be tough to play the Ravens this year, man. He looks like a Raven, oh, man. A good, a, oh. a better. He looks like than our the damn Titans. Raven. Yeah, it's. I be, I remember when times used to be good with Jamal Lewis. Those times are back, ladies and yep, gentlemen. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and then, you know, we kind of already discussed it a little bit with the Madden cover, but number one, CMC, Offensive Player of the Year. 
probably could have been argued to be the MVP of the year over Lamar Jackson, but you know, it is what it is. Still offensive player. He was my MVP. So yeah, he was my MVP too. I, I or actually no, I picked Lamar Jackson. Sorry. In my heart, wow. he was my MVP, but in, in my heart, yes, but I was like, they're gonna pick Lamar Jackson. Yeah, that's why wow. I did too. I was like, each CMC deserves it, but it's like let's be real here. It's gonna be Lamar. Yeah. I mean, again, even in this league, let it in rushing yards, touches, scrimmage yards, and scrimmage touchdowns. I mean, this dude was just number one in everything. Yeah. In a running back category. Yep. So yeah, he's gonna be placed at number one. All right, Don. Don. Yep. Don. Okay. Well, we're gonna hear a lot of familiar names here. Also, I'll never forgive Don for taking Kyron Williams in fantasy. I was so close. <laughs> so I was close. thinking that the whole time. I, I typed, I typed, when I typed in Kyron Williams, I just went, son of a bitch, Don. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to try everything to make sure he doesn't get him this year. <laughs> I'm picking him first. At number five, uh, I went with Saquon Barkley here. A lot of the same things that have already been said. Um, I, I'm anxious to see what he can do behind this Eagles line. I really am. This guy has played well despite having played behind an inferior line. So I can hardly wait to see what he does here. Uh, Does have an injury history, but let's see what happens with this line. And uh, I, I got him at number five. I'm looking for a really good year for Saquon here. At number four, yes, he was injured. But yes, he is a top five running back. I got chubby, Nick Chubb. Chubby, Chubby, <laughs> Chubby. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't say that, sir. <laughs> I mean, he tore ACL in college, tore three ligaments during a game last year. Ah. There's, you know, you just really wonder how durable and is he going to be back? But when he's healthy, man, he's like one of the top two or three running backs in the game. So giving him number four is kind of a cautious optimism here. Uh, At number three, I am looking for a bounce back year here. He had a decent year last year, even though he was injured. Okay, Jonathan Taylor, he was going to be a superstar, (laughs) but injuries kind of limited that. Uh, he's only 25 years old. Remember the guy who (laughs) led the NFL with 1,811 yards and 18 touchdowns in 21. Look for it again this year, guys. Mm -hmm. Respect to my boy, JT. (laughs) (laughs) Number two, the Raven, Derrick Henry. Get the jersey. Yep. I don't got it. (laughs) I don't have that one. We don't got it. (laughs) <laughs> he, like like was said, even in down years, he, he's just amazing. He's got a really good offensive line to run behind. The Ravens usually have a three-tier running back attack. Now this guy's going to take the bulk of the runs, and that's what he does. He is in an ideal situation here. He's going to have – for a 30-year-old, he's going to have one heck of a year. Mm-hmm. And then mm. if you make the Madden cover, you automatically get number one. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Christian McCaffrey, all the reasons that was said already, he deserves it. Not the greatest blocker, but he can do a lot more than that. Electrifying talent definitely deserves number one. So spoiler alert, Christian McCaffrey also – Got a perfect score of 20. Are we two two 49ers like, players back to back. I feel like there's only going to be one top five that's different, and that's going to be edge rushers with the number one being different. We'll see. We'll see. That's my Christian, Ma- Christian McCaffrey got the other perfect score from us. That's crazy. All right, Hayden. Explain yourself, right. sir. Number five, let's start this off with Josh Jacobs. <laughs> Pull the gif out. Now, with Josh Jacobs in the last year, he did battle injuries and Pull his he did still have 805 rushing yards last year, but it, joke on your lies. Oh, shit. <laughs> God, get, Never gets old. 
<laughs> in, 20, in 2022, he did lead the entire NFL he- heading into a new fresh offense with Matt LaFleur. I think it's going to help boost his career more in the pass game as well. Fun fact, Josh Jacobs has no passing touchdown, like receiving touchdowns for those who do not know. I think his receiving game is going to help boost up this year. And I think Josh Jacobs is going to be huge. Wait, Josh this Jacobs year. doesn't have a receiving touchdown? No. But you think that he's going to help out your passing game? He is because Matt LaFleur already Logic. came out saying he's working on stuff to improve Josh Jacobs in the passing game to get him involved. How many yards did Josh Jacobs have last year? Uh, 805 rushing yards. Go ahead. So he had 805 rushing yards, would have been a thousand yard rusher this year if he was fully healthy for the whole year. He's still a top five type of player. Now, at number four, I got Saquon Barkley. Last year, he was that offense for the New York Giants. With He's been that offense for years. What you mean just <laughs> last year? <laughs> but last year, with three different quarterbacks being the rock for that offense and still missing three games is very impressive, was around 44 yards away from having a thousand yard rushing year. He also had 10 total touchdowns last year on this Giants offense too, which was a very lackluster offense, basically carrying that Giants offense to being talked about at like around week 15 as maybe a wild card team. If scenarios per- play, right. And that was all because of Saquon Barkley at number three, I got Derrick Henry man was in, like top three in rushing and People consider this a down year for him. If you're top three in rushing (laughs) and it's a down year, you deserve to be top three without a question. Derrick Henry was the Titans offense last year with Will Levis, Will Levis, uh, who, who was Ryan Tannehill with all that drama going around. Derrick Henry showed he was still that, Titans offense without a true number two. It was him and DeAndre Hopkins, and he was by far above DeAndre Hopkins. Hey, did you have a stroke in the middle of this? Yes, I did. (laughs) (laughs) And then at number two, I got Nick Chubb. So I did the math for Nick Chubb like I did for Matt Milano. I want you to take a guess at the pace he was. He, He played for two games, to be fair. But he did average 6.1 rushing yards in that game. How many total rushing yards do you guys think he would have had? I don't know. Averaging oh. around, I did I did 20 carries because it was 28 and he got injured in the first half. So I just took the 20 as around the average. If he would have had around 20 carries per game, average 6.1 yards, he would have had 2,074 rushing yards. Would have been the MVP. Would have probably been offensive player of the year over CMC. No, I don't want to discredit CMC. Man's a beast, but that just shows how dominant Nick Chubb is. Last year had fifteen hundred yards. The year before, twelve one thousand two hundred fifty nine okay, yards. Hayden. Basically, Let's going go, off. Man. Nick Chubb was that Browns offense, and it showed. It was not. Did Don get difference. you those stats, or did you do that on your own? I did that one on my own. Okay. Nick Chubb is that offense. 12 touchdowns last year compared to this year. Didn't have any because of due to injuries, but a night and day difference that Brown's offense showed without a true number one running back like Nick Chubb, that offense was not there ready. (laughs) And then at number one, we have Christian McCaffrey, Madden cover offensive player of the year, a top, Five in MVP voting, Manish is on another level. He is he has shown that even with Kyle Shanahan, he, it has helped boost his game. It had it wasn't the thousand thousand yards, two thousand all purpose yard season he had at Carolina, but this is the closest he has been, like production wise. And I don't ever want to see that again because that's too much utilization for one. Person. <laughs> yes, absolutely. that is, and this is the best CMC we have seen since that year and he has just been on another level basically took Debo's job and ran with it <laughs> so, so that is my all right one. so here we go <laughs> we'll start out How with joe mixon not oh wait now 
Never mind. This is your list. I thought this was the ECG list. And I was like, wait a second. Hold on. No, that's not the ECG list. Not yet. I was like, how are some of these guys on this list? I think Joe Mixon is the best compliment to a quarterback in the NFL. I bar none. The stuff that he does when he's healthy actually helps out his offense more significantly to me than than any other running back in the league. He's he's proven it time and time again. Whenever the Bengals are winning, he has at least 100 yards in most cases when you go back and, and pull up the stats. Yeah. He's he's an incredible running back that never, ever gets mentioned. And I, I, I mean, he, he gets mentioned, but not in the capacity of being top five. And I think just out of respect for him and what he's done, I think it's time to go ahead and and allow him to be a top five running back in this league. Um, and what he's going to do with the Texans is going to is going to compliment C.J. Stroud so so much more. C.J. Stroud, to be honest, might yeah, be the MVP sorry. next year if they put it all mm-hmm. together, and he's going to be a big part of that. Um, Brees Hall being at number four, guys, take away the touchdowns. I don't, mm-hmm. I, I know. I know he only had nine touchdowns, but he had four receiving and five on the ground. While Aaron Rodgers went out, he was stepping up. Mm-hmm. He had 1,500 all-purpose yards last year, coming he, off of injury. that An ACL injury to add to that. <laughs> I don't need to say any more. The dude's top five right now. We I, I've been a big fan of Brees Hall since he was in college. Don knows. I've been talking about Brees Hall for a long time. Yep. Brees Hall is that guy. I don't need to say anymore. Jonathan Taylor, I know his career has been like this, but to be honest, his career has been like this because of one thing, injuries. Yes. When he's on, he's the best running back in the league. Listen to me. You you want to say that again for the people in the back, please? He's the best running back in the league, talent-wise. I'm not saying... Make those noises again, Hayden. I'm not saying anything else, but talent-wise, he can be the best running back in the league, not only on the ground, but him being able to catch out the backfield and make things happen. His second-level speed is second to none, only behind somebody like a Christian McCaffrey type. Mm -hmm. Nick Chubb, he's a dying breed of running back. Listen to me right now, people. You're not – we got to protect Nick Chubb at all costs. Because the so far run falling. down, put your shoulder pads on, and ram into somebody type of running style is going to be non-existent after he retires. I'm just letting you guys know. And he might call it quits if this injury doesn't doesn't come around for him. And I hope he's healed, and I hope we at least get the I hope he can at least squeeze one more season out of the great Nick Chubb. He's going to be one of those guys that when the Hall of Fame comes up. People are going to be like, man, he might not be first, second, or third, but fourth ballot Hall of Fame when he's like in his 40s and he finally gets in. And then when you really think about it, you could be like, Nick was Chubb is that guy. Man. He's going to be like that that Edger and James type of running back that, that we remember. And then CMC, I I ain't going to say nothing else, man. CMC (laughs) is... There ain't really much to say about it. (laughs) There ain't nothing else to say, so we're just going to move over to the ECG Top 5. Saquon Barkley ended up rounding out for us. Jonathan Taylor ended up in the number four spot. Let's go. Derrick Henry at number three. Nick Chubb actually, by points, stayed at number two based off of... We carried that Jonathan Taylor for number two. (laughs) And Don. Don has some votes in there, too. Oh, yeah. Did you have him on your list, Sora? Yeah, I had him at five. Yeah, okay, so yeah, so that that's why. He and then Christian McCaffrey be. is our second perfect player with 20 points on our list. Man, no, out no, love, no love for Kyron Williams. There's no love. He was, he, I want to see him do it again. Well, I, I mean, he was at number six on our list. So. <laughs> All right, never mind. There's love for Kyron Williams. <laughs> All right, our number seven, but yeah. Never mind. <laughs> the love is gone. <laughs> the love has disappeared. Who was uh, Dana then? said, "All you sleeping on my running back five yards per carry, three point five yards after contact for seventy percent of his total yards, twenty two. Are you talking about um, James Conner? James uh, James Conner, yeah. I'm a I'm a James Conner fan. I just hey, if you're asking me, out of these five players, I'm and James Conner's on their list. Yes, yeah. I mean, 
This is what it is. Anthony Estrada, what's up, man? How you doing? So, any quarrels about our top five, man? I I, I think this is a solid list, I, if I had to I say think... so myself. Because we gave respect to two players I need to respect. Derrick Henry is a legacy player, even though I didn't have him on my list. Christian McCaffrey mm. is obviously the number one. And Saquon Barkley, we were just holding on hope that this dude can be everything that he has been in a healthy environment. Hopefully. So, I don't mind it. Better start, you better start learning tush push, buddy. <laughs> Time has come. Honestly, uh, I think the top five so far have been way better than last year's. Our EC, yeah, our ECG top, especially our ECG top five is is, mm-hmm. is bulletproof. I can't wait to post these. I'm not gonna lie though, it it really. I had to shed a thug tear for for the homie Austin Eckler. Oh, I know. Oh, oh he I, fell I, off. He, he fell, fell off so hard. <laughs> no, I, 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 argument. I was making this list and I was like, who do I want to add? I, I looked like, back at last was, year. I was, I, was like, like, I was doing research. I was like, who should I add? And then I saw Austin Eckler. And I was like, well, with no. all the top five lists, I like to look back at last year just to see like said, the progression no. over them. After I finished it, I was like, holy crap, my top fives are so different. I said, no. Yeah, it's Bro, crazy. I saw, I saw him right. run like when he when he hit. I forget what game it was. I think it was like it might have been Green Bay or Washington when he just slowly ran. I'm like, oh, it's over for him. It's <laughs> over for homie. <laughs>